Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praise, and honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushak, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Actually, can we start off with it? Uh, the, harvest, uh, the harvest is plenteous, the laborers are few. All right? No, because look, once you get called into this truth, all right, you got to put in work, all right? The, the, you know, that's a commandment from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushak. Okay, whatever your lot, your you know, your portion is. All right, you gotta you know fulfill that measure. Okay, and the Lord, he he's not dealing with somebody that's slothful, lazy, slack, who's hiding their talent in the dirt. Okay, as that uh, parable talks about. Okay, right, and that talent also is to forward the kingdom of heaven. Yep. All right, it's nothing that that talent is nothing about a oh you can uh, 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 jump from the free throw line and, and get the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Right. No talent uh, 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 of this world, all right? It's talking about a talent in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and being in this ministry and propagating the word of God, extolling Yahweh Shai, all right? Getting ready for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the kingdom of heaven, man. That's the talent, all right, that he stole out to his men, okay? So this is uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 2. It says, uh, therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Exactly, the, 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 the harvest is great, the laborers are few. With that being said, we as the men of the Lord have to put in a lot of work, which requires what? Sacrifice. You're gonna have to do things you don't wanna do, okay? You're gonna have to sacrifice your time, all right, your sleep, you know, your money, so on and so forth, man. F family. Hey, it is what it is, man. Okay? Hey, these are requirements from the Lord. But it's going to pay off at the end of the day, man. See, when all hell breaks loose, all right, the Lord, he's going to remember, hey, your works, uh, was it your labor of love? Your works and labor of love, roughly paraphrasing it, in the book of Hebrews. He's not going to forget these things, okay? He's going to give you that righteous reward. See, while the rest of these people, they're going to get their wicked reward because their sacrifices have been nothing but what party bullshit you know adultery idolatry basically wickedness man uh, a, a sinful lifestyle man which really it's not even a true lifestyle it's a death style man okay because all these things lead to what chaos destruction and, and death man that's it that's right okay yep keep on yep, yep. yep. it says the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few. Yep. Pray ye therefore to the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. That's right, and we, we continue to, to pray to the Lord that the elect keep waking up, man. So what? We can get the hell out of here. That's right, right. Because once right. the 144,000 are sealed, right. all right, hey, it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap according to Revelation, the seventh chapter. All right? Hey, the, the, you know, the, uh, what is that? The, the, the rest of the one third, they're going to come in as well. Yep. And then, hey, as this great destruction occurs, uh, 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 that great deliverance also happens simultaneously. That's it. All right? That's it. So here it is. As the elect is being purified and perfected, and once it reaches that, what else is being reached <laughs> is the bounds that wickedness cannot pass. Because this earth was given over into the hand of the wicked. All right? <laughs> and since that's the case, they have a bounds that they cannot pass. But the thing is, they must must reach that bounds. Okay? You got something real quick? Yes, yes I do, Elder. And this is Jeremiah chapter 14 and 13. And it reads, Then said I, Al, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, Neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. You see, and that's for those that's going to follow him, all right? Wherever it says they follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, all right? They had the same mindset as Yahweh Shai, all right? They accepted the will of the Father, that's right. okay? And roll with it to learn and grow to ultimately be the righteous rulers, judges, and gods that we're ultimately going to be. All right, uh, you want to bring that up? It's Luke. It's Luke chapter 14 and verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father 
and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Now, it says hate. I ain't talking about, oh, I'm going to actually hate my kids and wife and, you know, everything that it named. But what it's talking about is, you look up that word, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the uh, Greek word, Mysio, uh, Mysio, if I'm not mistaken. And it goes in basically to disregard if anything or any of those things that's named is in the way of you serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, of you carrying your cross, all right? And basically carrying your cross is going through the straight gate, all right? Going through the things that's gonna uh, uh, happen to you, all right? But you know what? You're gonna keep your faith and your integrity, all right? And still roll with the plan, all right? The Most High God, He has a plan. All right, the ultimate to ultimately get to a righteous, uh, 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 eternal world ruled by his special chosen children. That's the ultimate plan. All right, hey, Shalom. But to get there, we had to go through everything. All right, and here it is. This present evil world is the entrance. The entrance is the place where we're purified and perfected as the chosen children of the Most High God. <coughs> the entrance is also the uh, the uh, 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 inheritance of these heathen nations that are here, here it is, go ahead, do y'all, so y'all can see, all right? So you, uh, everybody could know that, okay, there's a way of life that's given by the Most High God. He said, this is righteousness, all right? And anything else is wrong. And there's a consequence for that wrong. So here it is. Go ahead. Present evil world, given over to the man, uh, 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 given over to the wicked, given over to these heathen nations. All right. So now we see what their way produces. That's why in the kingdom of heaven it's gonna be like, ah, now I get it. All right. To people, you know, will be like, oh, well, why would he do this or why would he do that? Well, you wouldn't know fire is hot until you experience it. When you finally touched that fire, it was red and it was shiny and it looked good. You didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But once you touched it, you experienced it. Ah, I get it. All right? So now it's going to be known that, ah, the most high in his righteousness was righteousness indeed. All right, and so we have to roll with that, okay? But right now, the Israelites had to experience the the, the flesh that's susceptible to transgressing life. All right, we had to experience that because that's who we gonna be ruling over in the kingdom. These heathen nations that's gonna be in bodies that's not perfect, where they're following the, this righteousness perfectly, okay? So here it is, we're the ones, the special chosen children that he's gonna make cause to walk in his ways and do them and be perfect in them and rule righteously, all right? So we had to experience being in this flesh that's susceptible to sin. But who gonna fight? Who gonna make their body a living sacrifice? Who gonna bear their cross and still keep their faith in their, their integrity? Who not gonna be offended at the bad that you gotta go through, the humiliation that you gotta go through, the suffering for righteousness sake that you gotta go through. All right, we all gotta go through that. And we can't let nothing get in our way. What can't we let get in our way? It says, if any man come to me and hate not his father. So you, we can't let our own pops, all right, get in our way of serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and doing what's right. Because the thing is, he said, I, I will take two of a family. So then the rest, they didn't get this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The disciples asked, why is he speaking to the people in parables? He said, it's because it's given to you to know. He's talking about the elect. All right, starting off with the 144. All right? <laughs> starting off with the 144 that he's given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, to propagate it. All right, those are the laborers that the brother was talking about in the beginning. All right, to teach this word. All right, to tell of the will of the Father, to tell of the righteousness of the Father in the world where everybody established their own righteousness. 
So when we tell them that not your righteousness is wrong, now they look at us like we the bad guys. Okay? We crazy. Who are you can't tell me? I'm grown. Okay, grown man. Alright? When words can't teach, adversity will. Alright? But let's go back and let's see who else we, we can't let get in our way of serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Just because they didn't get it. Oh, again, like I was saying, uh, he said, unto you is given uh, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Talking about, first and foremost, the 144, the teachers, those that's in the ministry. Then, the rest of the men, women, and children of the elect that's slated for salvation, that's going to receive this word and have faith in it and hold fast till the Lord comes. Right. All right, go ahead. He says, and mother. And mother. You can't let your moms get in the way. Now, all the time, it says, uh, uh, honor thy father and mother. All right, so you ain't sitting up there just cussing them out, being disrespectful. But if they are in the way of you serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, I love you, Ma, I love you, Dad, but I, I got to I gotta move on. You're going to be like Abraham. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, and uh, leave his family. Yep. You know, and he didn't disrespect, you know, his father and mother. Hey, they, they were serving those other gods. He had, you know, uh, part ways. That's it. He, you know, did, he, he disregarded them. Mm -hmm. He, he mis misio, or mis misio. All right, go ahead. It's, go it's so actually, uh, he, he was showing a lot of faith, man, by doing that. You, you, you got to think about it. Hey, he left everything that he had. Basically, where he was at, he was established, you know? Right. He had things. Yeah. You know, he yeah. had riches of this world. Yeah. And he, you know, got up and left, man. Yep. That, that takes a lot of faith, and then that's why the Most High they regarded him as what a friend. Yeah, because his father and them they were idol worshippers. Yeah, like uh, they, like our people like this uh, today. Today, man. Yep. All right. The majority of our fathers and mothers, you know, brothers, sisters, etc., they're idol worshippers. Yep. All right. And it could be JC, man. It could be Buddha. It could be money. It could be the woman. Whatever it is, man. Yep. And whatever uh, <laughs> they are um, upholding this world, that's their god, man. That's right. Hey, shut up, hold on. It says, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life See, also. See, even your own life. It named your mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brothers, your kids, your wife, but even your own self. All right? Disregard your own self. If you in the way, all right, we got a, we got, we on a mission, man. All right, we're on a mission to be purified and perfected and be in the likeness of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and extol Yahweh Shai. It's all about Yahweh Shai. That's right. All right, because it says that he uh, he has made Yahweh Shai. Uh, and where is that? In, in, Matter of fact, somebody read that real quick. This is First Corinthians 1 and like 30. <coughs> First Corinthians 1 and 30. Gotcha. Let, let's see what it says. <clears throat> First Corinthians 1 and 30. But of him are ye in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, who of the Most High. Who of God, who of the Most High. Is made unto us is, wisdom. Is made unto us. So Yahweh Shah is made unto us wisdom. Made him, uh, but of him are ye in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah, who of the Most High God is made unto us wisdom, wisdom and righteousness, and righteousness, and sanctification, and sanctification, and redemption, and redemption. Yahweh Shah is all like. All right, that wisdom, that righteousness, that sanctification. He sets us apart from the rest. All right, he sets us apart from the rest. All right, there's none like Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and so we're being made to be in his likeness, okay? See, but, but to do that, you got to go through the fire. All right, you got to go through either the spiritual fire or the physical fire. I'd rather go through the spiritual fire. All right, you got something? Can I say something real quick? Yeah. That's the difference between Yahweh Shai and all these other idols. All the things that these brothers are talking about that you are required to do, he actually did all of that. <laughs> these other idols is not, they, they ain't never did shit, but they got requirements though. <laughs> right? Especially when you talk about 
you know, idolizing women or even people in the flesh like these basketball <laughs> niggas and shit. Mm. They ain't never really did shit before. They don't live right. the same life as a regular person live. That's it. Women ain't held to the same standard as everybody else is held to, but they expect you to uphold the utmost and highest standard even though they don't do that. That perfect. Right. That's perfect, man, because you think about even the judges that they have set up in these Supreme Courts and all these things, they never been through our plight. How are they judging, yep. all right, something that they ain't never been through? See, that's why the Most High is having us go through all experiences one could go through in this flesh, all right? But, and, and there's gonna be a lot of pressure, a lot of pitfalls, ups, downs, mishaps, you know, falls, you know, all that. But who gonna get back up and still be about Yahweh Shem Yahushai and his righteousness? See? So we have to go through all these things. That's what's gonna make us righteous judges. All right, cause we're the judges of the earth, man. Go ahead, make the, go ahead. Make uh, and, and you know, when we, you know, things that Yahweh Shai went through are even more on a higher level than what we're going through because I highly doubt that anybody that's walking this walk in the world today was ever offered to be the king of everything or offered to be a king in any place around here, man. And he had to walk away from that to go through what these brothers are talking about he had to go through. That's right. But um, this Psalm chapter 73 and verse 25. Can I get this real quick to back up your statement, Salak, yeah? This is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like oh, as, oh what? In all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Woo! Our Lord and Savior, Yahawashah. Alright, when he walked the earth as Yahawashah, he was in all points tempted just like we are in this flesh. And he had no sin. He did it. That's why he the man. That's why he's our hero. Huh? Okay. That's the uh, uh, thing, Jim. Uh, <laughs> Alright? But he was at all points tempted. So he went through everything that we go through. Alright? He went through every temptation that we have. Alright? Scriptures tells us when thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Alright? And we're gonna be tempted off our own lust of our own flesh. All right? See, but we gotta understand that, nope, we not our flesh. That's why the scripture says, curse be the man who trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm. If this is you, this is who you serve, then you serve death. See, we, we try to serve life back here. All right? We're about Yahweh Shah. We're about the spirit. Most High say, I'm a spirit. Therefore, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Right. Can't lean to your own understanding. All right? We have to roll with thus saith the Lord in truth. Psalms chapter 73 and verse 25. Whom I have in heaven but thee, and there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but Yahweh is the strength of my heart Woo! and my portion forever. <laughs> That's my portion, man. I don't want no portion here. I don't want nobody else portion, no portion outside of my portion. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's all I want. That's all I need. That's right. And when you and when you try to reach for other portions, a lot of people think that they can get rest in this life when they reach for other portions. But all of those things are subject to change. Yep. Especially when you're dealing with Esau. He's going to tell you something up front, and it's going to be all ass backwards by the time it's time for you to collect what you think you're supposed to get. And it's never fulfilling. You're never fulfilled. The flesh is insatiable, man. All right, when you're out of the balance of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, you never have enough. All right? You never just, I mean, never fulfilled. It's always more, 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 more. See, but guess what? When you roll with the righteousness of the Most High God, when your portion is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you roll it with this wisdom, it says, hey, all these things gonna be added unto you, but you gonna do it the right way. All right, the only way to rule forever and live forever. Go ahead, brother. Oh, that was it? Oh, that was it? Yeah, brother. Uh, 
1 Corinthians uh, 3 and 9. For we are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are uh, God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. You see, we are the Most High's building. See, the Lord don't need, you know, n nothing of this world, all right, that's set up, okay, to, you know, propagate his word out. You know what I'm saying? No institution of this world, these uh, 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 institutions called colleges where they got these seminary schools and uh, or uh, like my apostle always like to call them, cemetery schools, <laughs> all right? And theology classes of this world, anyone dealing with a 501c3 charter when it comes to, hey, the, the word of God ain't got nothing to do with this world. Right, right. The word of God actually condemns this world, right? All right? All right? So he's doing things, it says we're sanctified, set apart. He's doing things apart from anything that got to do with this world, all right? So those that's in this ministry, the true laborers who he sent, all right, is from the Most High God, all right? And guess what? Those laborers that he sent, they're gonna be speaking against this world. They're gonna make their body a living sacrifice because they ain't with this world. All right, they gonna be hated of those that love this world. They not gonna be understood because if the Lord don't give the increase to you, everything we say sound foreign to you. Matter of fact, it sound hateful to you. All right, because you still in darkness, man. And, and, and again, the, the, the earth, the, 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 the scripture says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. What do the wicked do? He covered the face of the judges thereof. What that mean? He lies. He deceives. He put light for darkness and darkness for light. Good for evil and evil for good. This is what he's done. All right? And we all at one point in time, or several points in time, were fooled by him. All right? But then, through divine intervention, the elect is being woken up. And that's why he saved. We are laborers together with the Most High God. See, because the Most High God, He made us a labor. Now, the Most High God, He's so powerful, He can make a, a, a just a beautiful garden come right out of this cement right here. That's right. If He wanted to. But guess what? He, he, said, he didn't say that that's how He was going to do it. He said that He was going to get His men, right, to plant. Right? He was going to get His men to plant the seeds and water it and do what they going to do and then he was going to give the increase to whoever he was going to give the increase to all right he is he's the husband man all right the husband man is the cultivator the husband man is the farmer he's the one that's making all of this wonderful thing sprout and, 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 and beautify us he's cultivating us with our culture all right our culture is life that's the culture of the Israelites right. all right because that's what our, our father does he lives he produces life right. that's what it's all about and so he's making his men he's cultivating them into husband men he's called the creator is cultivating creators it's beautiful so in the kingdom of heaven guess what the, the men of the Lord who's perfected now to be those baby husbandmen, all right, those baby creators, those baby gods, because he the most high God. But if he the most high God and he have children, then his children are gods. See, but down here in this present evil world, the gods shall die like men because we had to experience what it was like to just be a mortal man. But who gonna fight to be a God? And we were given a measure of faith and understanding. All right? So here it is. That's why right now we're not immortal on the earth because we just get a measure of this life right now. All right? He's gonna give us the full download in the kingdom of heaven. All right? But who is the one that's fighting right now to labor with the most high God? Again, people know that. The word says that the Lord is coming to destroy this place. One thing they don't say is what's going to happen after that. 
You know what I'm saying? So we'll tell you. What's going to happen after that is the new heaven and the new earth. The eternal one that's going to be ruled in righteousness by the Israelites, man. Right. Starting off with the top Israelite, our Lord and Savior, our big bro, our hero, Yahweh Shah. Right. And then subsequently, the order that comes after that. That's who's going to rule. Okay? But you, somebody has something? Yeah, you keep reading to like maybe oh. 16. Yeah, you get it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. First Corinthians three. First Corinthians three. Right. Just go, read down to sixteen, like you know, just keep going. This is a lot. First, uh, first Corinthians uh, uh, three, uh, 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 verse uh, ten. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise, wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. Right, because you know, it says do all things uh, 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 to edifying. All right, edifying is building, but we have to build upon the foundation. The foundation is Yahweh Shai, y'all. All right, and we have to build on the record that God gave His Son, not on your own record that you give Him. All right, your own righteousness. What you think these words of the Bible mean? Because this ain't no private interpretation, the words of this Bible. All right? The words of this Bible, it says, didn't come uh, in old time by the will of man. The scripture said, what is that? It said, 820, if they speak not according to this word, that there's no light in them. That's it. And it talks about if you add or take away from this book, That's it. that, you know, these plagues are going to come unto you. That's right? it. So and you, you have a specific, you know, uh, guideline to preach, basically. That's, that's it. You can't deviate from it. You cannot do it. All right, you cannot do it. If you do, then that's your ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? It says then, oh, okay, if you don't believe in the record that God gave his son, then the Most High made you a liar. <laughs> All right? Shit. See, the only way that you can tell this truth is if he put the witness in you. That's the Holy Spirit. All right? And the Most High dictates the Holy Spirit. The Most High dictates the Holy Spirit and who he gives it to, who he gives the witness to. Again, we always talk about it. A witness, they seen the truth of what actually happened. So if the Lord don't put the witness in us, then we don't see the truth. We can't. All right, just like he says, this thing is done in parables. All right? And to them that are without all right, you can't understand it. You can't understand it if you are without. You can't make yourself without and you can't make yourself within. Right. That's already preordained by the Father. All right, so whoever comes in this, guess what? The Lord rests the Holy Spirit upon them, put the witness in them so they could see and have a measure of this truth and faith in it. Verse 3 and verse 11. For other foundations can no man lay there than that is laid, which is Mashiach Yahweh Shah. And, and the Father laid it. You, you, you. Can't nobody counsel the Most High God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And tell him he messed up or, you know, matter of fact, oh, let, let's get that uh, Romans 11 and 33. <laughs> it's funny, ain't it? It's laughable. And that's that, that but that's really a sentiment in this world. Like yep. I went to go see Dr. Strange yesterday. Yeah, and don't, don't say that. I'm not gonna spoil okay. that, but with all these superheroes, man, the overarching narrative the over the overarching narrative of all these superheroes is that they got a certain set of rules and regulations that they're supposed to abide by, but somehow they find a justified reason to do the shit they're not supposed to do to say that it's gonna save the day at the end. But that's not really how this shit works, though. Right. 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 The rules are in place so that the day can be saved, not so that you can break the rules thinking that you're gonna save it. Woo! That's it, brother. Man, you be coming up with some nice stuff, man. I guess you got the witness in you, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 11, 33, and it reads, Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom, both of the wisdom 
and knowledge of the Most High, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. He says, oh, the depth, how deep, all right, how deep is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Most High God. And the understanding of the Most High God, it says, is unsearchable. You can plant your face in the Bible. I'm talking about and just read it to you. Blue, red, purple in the face. Um, read it a literal thousand times. And you don't know the meaning thereof if the Lord don't give you the increase. That's why the scriptures say what? Uh, ever learning, never being able to come into the truth. And if you, if you get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and we still in hell, we still in our captivity. If you get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then you're going to be mad. You're going to be sorry. You're going to hate this world. You're going to speak against it. All right? That's how, you know, that was a part of the telltale signs. All right? If you truly have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from above, the mind of the Most High God. See, he said he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. What's his secret? The word of life. All right, the true understanding of this word, which produces immortality, life everlasting. All right, but first, salvation it produces. Okay, and here it is. You can't get it unless it's given by the Most High God, man. And again, if He give it to you, it says, "With much knowledge comes much sorrow." All right, you gonna understand now. What time it is. Uh, oppression making the wise man man. You're going to understand that we're being oppressed right now. In every single way. And that's going to make you mad. Right. Yep. We mad. Uh, that's why we out here. And tired, folks. And tired, man. 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 <laughs> and my means in a few years, boy, I can't imagine how the apostles feel, man. Right. Woo. And that's why they get double honors. As the scriptures say so. Shit, man. But yeah, because if you know that, man, hey, I've been in this a few years, and I'm pissed, I'm mad, I'm tired. Well, shit, somebody who's been in that double and double and a half and triple me. Who's been in for longer than I've been living. Exactly. <laughs> and they came to the door pissed, and the world was technically a better place when they came in. Exactly. You know, compared to the shit they got going on out Ex here right now. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, keep going. Uh, I got this, I got this yep. This uh Hebrews chapter four and verse two. For unto us was the gospel preached, yep. as well as unto them. And so everyone's heard this gospel. Keep going. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Exactly, because they didn't uh, get that gift of faith uh, according to, I think, Ephesians, the second chapter. I right. think it's 2 and 8. 2 and 8, yep. You know, and only a, a select group of people, they're going to receive that gift, okay? And that's why you got to cherish this, okay? That's right. All right? And give it your all, man. You got to get uh, give all your might to this, man, you know, to the best of your ability. You right. can't neglect this, hey, because hey, if you neglect it, the Lord's going to spew you out of his mouth. And the reason why is because you were what? Lukewarm. Yeah, I did a, a lesson, man, where it went into the scripture where it talks about, man, how blessed is it are we to be called the sons of the living power? For sure. You know? And then that next day, I seen the brother did a lesson to uh, the elder, uh, one of the elder bros down in uh, Dallas. He did a lesson saying, basically, how blessed we are in, in a, the, the thing where uh, it says, uh, I call you no more servants, but friends. Friends of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's amazing right there, man. That is truly amazing, man. And you can't downplay that, man. All right? Cause he said, hey, hey, if I, you my friend, then I, I tell you of the things that I'm telling you, my secrets. You know, the secrets of the most high God. Again, which is the word of life, which tends to, to immortality, man. And that's beautiful right there. Go ahead. I did. Uh, brother, move this, uh, that Ephesians 2. Or the Ephesians 2 and 8, I just grabbed it right there. Uh, and it reads, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not that not of yourselves. 
it is the gift of the Most High. And not of yourselves. See? See, when we say we have faith, that ain't because, you know, no, that was just, oh, that's what we believed in and it sounded right to us. Uh-uh. It's the Most High God who allowed us to see it, all right, to have the inner vision and then have faith in it. That's why we shouldn't be proud in this thing. That's why the scriptures say, why is earth and ashes proud? Well, what are you to be proud about, man? And everything that you have, whether it be spiritual or carnal things, the Most High gave it unto you, man. That's it. All right? Everything's a, a blessing from Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, whatever you have. That's and it. And remember that. Yep. you got to constantly have that in your, your mind, man, that look, the Lord gave me this wisdom. He gave me this knowledge. He gave me this measure. You know? You didn't do it by yourself. Yep. Man. And ain't nobody uh, but the elect extolling him like that. All right? Extolling Yahweh Shah like that to also walk even so as he walked. Right. And Yahweh Shah, he made his body a living sacrifice. They was trying to crown him king, and he knew it wasn't time yet. All right? Uh, 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 Satan offered him all the things that was delivered unto him. All right? And all the things that was delivered unto Satan was this present evil world and all the kingdoms in it. And Yahweh Shah was like, well, well, that's temporal, well. And it's in, in wickedness. You know? You got some? Yeah, I got it. What you got, brother? This is James 1 and 17. It says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. You see, Ooh. every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. So if you have any, any of that, then you wanna be thankful to the one above. And if you're gonna be thankful to the one above, then you're gonna be obedient. You're gonna be in a compliance. And man, what a good gift faith is. Woo! You know? That's Woo! It says, and coming down from the father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Neither shadow of turning, man. All right, what he say? His word is his bond. He's bound to his word because he's not a man that he should lie. All right, so what he said was going to happen, it's going to happen. All right, for me. Yep. Uh, you know, like uh, brothers going into uh, that gift, man, that perfect gift. And uh, if you've been give, giving them carnal gifts, basketball, baseball, football, whatever, you know, this gift that we've been given, man, is the gift of life, man. That's it. And, and, and that's the gift, just like the brother just brought out, man. The gift of faith, man. He's opened us up. He's woken us up, man. The whole earth is in darkness, man. The, the people in gross darkness, man. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be awakened in this, man. Yeah. But everybody look at us like crown, clowns and everything else. But we'll take that. I'll take the downgrade right now. Yes, sir. Because I want the upgrade. That's hey, right. This is not even a downgrade, though, brother. This no. is an upgrade. Man, don't, you know what I'm saying? According to this fucked up place. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying, like, man, this faith that we got, man, this is a complete upgrade, bro. I, hey, man, I've never been happy with my life. That's right. Speak, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, we're mad at this world, the things that are in it, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera things that happen to us, man, I'm happy, man. Yes. Because look, these people, man, they're fucking blinded, man. They're still worried about the fucking playoffs, man. All right? And, and, and fucking, you know, Joe Biden. All right, their savior, their daddy. Kevin Samuels. And Ke Kevin Samuels, man. All right, that's what they're worried about. And we see what's happening right now. We see World War III build, building up, hey, the era of paradigma coming in, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. All right, wait, we're seeing the, the, the awakening of uh, 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 Israel right now. The, the governing body, what you know, uh, uh, getting to you know, uh, set up right now. Hey, real it's quick, beautiful, beautiful, man. What, what you just said, hey. uh, a couple of them. This is John 13 and 17. <laughs> it says, If you know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. First Peter 4 and 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, all right, for the truth's sake, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of the most high God resting upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Right. All right? right, see, we're glorifying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on this earth, man. Right. We're glorifying him, all right, by being in obedience, man, in compliance, rolling with his will, going through the straight gate, suffering for righteousness sake, all right? Trying to grow in the spirit to the best of the ability that was given to each and every individual of the body. Right. All right, trying to uh, 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 help build, okay? Build that house of David, man. Because uh, again, we're laborers together with God. He gave each and uh, uh, every one of his laborers the ability that he gave them, all right? He doled out the pounds. He doled out the talents, 
all right, to speak the word of God in truth. Because there's a lot of false doctrines out here right. and a lot of people following those false, false doctrines. That's right. That's right. And they think it's good. That's why I say there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The end thereof are the ways of death. But people are gung-ho about it, zealous. That's right. Alright? We got some go ahead. Yeah, back off what the brothers were saying, man, like like the brother said, man, it's a, it's, it's, it, it make you mad looking at the world because the world is fucked up, but it's a relief at the same time because all these people that's, that don't know what's going on, they like a hamster that's on a wheel. This is what this going to be for them forever. This is what they think the world is forever. But when you know what's going on, man, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You get off the wheel and you actually start moving towards the end of this shit. Man. So these people, they don't want this shit to end. They cool with being around moles and shit like that. Yeah. Yep. They cool with bitches telling them what they gonna do and what they not gonna do and calling the cops to beat them over the head whenever they want to, man. This is what niggas think their life is just gonna be. And that's a heavy, that's why depression is so high in this society. That's why yeah. people is on antidepressants, overdosing and all type of shit. Billionaires. That's Millionaires. Right. That's right. Same thing. That's right. Don't matter. That's from right. the from the bum to the billionaire. That's right. From the B to the B. Especially when you jake because <laughs> it don't matter how much money you got, you ain't gonna pay Esau off your ass. That's that it. nigga ain't gonna be can't. on your ass day and night, whether you on his team or not. Yep. He ain't <laughs> fucking playing with y'all niggas, man. <laughs> Thank you. Just a quick testimony. One of my old jobs years back, I was constantly in and out of the world, you know, all these condos, like I'm talking about like ten houses, top tier, you know, you know places to live, man. Right. And I remember, you know, I used to do you know, you know, and um, so basically, I used to take care of all these people's animals, and uh, there was this one particular uh, house that I had to go to, and uh, it was in downtown, it was on the north side, and uh, basically, I had to give like cat beds and all this shit, and, like they had the food, and, like basically in their bathroom. So I was trying to find the meds I had to give the cat, and I was hoping that the cabinet, you know, for you know, in the bathroom. You should have seen how all these perks and all this shit, man. And I'm just looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? That's right. And these are people who got all this money, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. And they, they don't they don't think about being poor. They don't have to worry about, oh, uh, how am I gonna pay my, my mortgage? And you know what I mean? They, right. That's not in their in their mind. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they can take a, a, a month vacation if they want to. You know what I mean? That's yeah. right. Yep. And that proves that knowledge and wisdom are the real riches that the Lord gives, man. All this That's shit right. these people got that they walking around with in their pockets don't mean nothing. Because guess what? If you got a woman and you bought her with some money, the nigga that she like how he look, he gonna get her. The nigga that talk how she like how he talk, he gonna get her. And you still gonna spend all your fucking money, man. That's the type of shit a lot of these people dealing with, man. Yeah, yeah. that's how it is, man. What you got? I got a preset. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah uh, 7 and 50. 7 and 52. Let me just get it on my phone. I got it on my phone. <clears throat> yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 52. He does this real quick. He saw his own kingdom is depressed, man. That's right. right. That's fucking crazy. Man. Crazy, man. Hey man, cause when you a when you a base piece of garbage, you can have money, you still a piece of garbage with money, nigga. You ain't gonna be able to get out of what you really are. Again, right? and never able to be truly fulfilled. Alright? Here it is, the elites, they are liquid. They don't need no money. Whatever they desire, they get it. No matter how small or how big, they get it because they're ruling right now, all right? But guess what? They are never fulfilled. Right. I got two, but this is Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah 52 and seven, it says, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bring the good tidings. The good tidings, man. This is the good tidings, the gospel, this word, which ultimately the word is gonna produce the kingdom of heaven. And this one gonna be destroyed, all right? This one gonna be, out of that right all right go ahead in the book of jeremiah says that uh, the lord uh, uh made up uh, uh, uh it says that, 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 that none shall prevail against us if we be those men that which means that we are going to prevail 
That's it. Over all the things. Oh, that, and, you know? and, and, and who's going to prevail? The righteous. Right. The right. righteous is going to rule on the earth, man. Right. That's the good tidings. That's the good news. Right. It ain't going to be where you're going to have to wear masks no more. Right. It ain't going to be where you have to go, you know, through all this uh, 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 rape, robbery, murder, death, kill, disease, sickness, pain, suffering, envy, strife. Straight peace. We talking about peace here, man. That's the good news. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's why I said that if at all possible, they, they, they could deceive the very elect. Because the uh, the elect are the real unbreakable, man. That's it. They waiting on the Lord. When the Lord come, man, everyone's going to see that they were unbreakable. That's it. You know? That's it, man. This is the good news, man. That this world where you cry, all right, you, you're in pain, you die, you know what I'm saying? All those things, all right? If you love this place, then have at it. That's right. Huh? All right, and then get the ultimate uh, 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 judgment when our Lord and Savior comes, man. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah. So if, if you hate what we're saying, then you hate Yahweh. You hate life. That's right. You hate life. Go ahead, and finish that. It says, uh, "How yeah, beautiful yeah, upon yeah. the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that publisheth Ooh. peace, man." We're the ones that's truly talking about peace. That's right. All these religions of this world produce death. That's right. All right? We're the ones that's talking about peace, man. Truly. That's right. All right? And the rules and regulations of the Most High God produces that. That's right. We're talking about those rules and regulations. Because the rules and regulations that the, uh, uh, like Chicago PD, they protect and serve the rules and regulations of the wicked. And even that, and even that is subject to change at any moment. Any moment, it says, "Let our strength be the law of justice, man." So they'll change it, all right, just to, for they can be in their position, all right, of rulership and ruling over everybody, man, right. in wickedness, mind. That's, right. That's the Edomite mentality, man. This episode of Sopranos, it was this Amalekite record nigga that was fucking Jake over back in the day, and one of these Jake's grandsons ended up getting rich and going to go sue the nigga. And when he went to go talk with the Amalekite, the Amalekite told him, well, you know, we were just making the rules and breaking them and remaking them as we were going. <laughs> so I don't owe you shit. I'm not paying you nothing. Right. <laughs> this bitch ass Amalekite living on a ranch, got horses, got all type of shit. This dude died and his mom is broke as fuck, don't got money to pay for nothing. But this nigga was working every day, selling hit records, man. Going platinum, all that shit, man. But this Amalekite said, well, you know, we was in control of the rules, so when we decided how we was gonna do it, it didn't like that. We just we scratched it and made the rules, and there's nothing you can do about it, nigger. Nope. That's nope. their mentality, man. That's, That's it. Rest. That's it. It says, uh, 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 "He that is feeble was found to be nothing worth." All right, nothing worth. And here it is. This is where we're feeble, us as the the special chosen children of the Most High God, because we're gonna be the most strong. So we had to experience what it was like to be the most. That's feeble. right. And you niggas should be tired of this shit, man. It's a set of rules that's concrete that you could be following, but instead you want to follow rules that don't even fucking exist, man. None of these rules are real because they don't hold it up, up to a standard for everybody. Right. If this guy, if if the mayor decide that. He or she or whatever the fuck it is want to do, and they don't want to abide by the rules. Oh well, I'm gonna park in this toe zone, and since I'm the mayor, you're not gonna tow my shit. Right. That's not a real rule, then. Them rules not real. That shit just apply to who they want to apply it to. Exactly. You niggas living like that instead of wanting to really follow real rules, man. Yeah. Shit that really is. Everybody got to be held up to that standard. Everyone. Everyone. From the top to the bottom. That's why we were saying earlier. Yahweh Shai is the one to follow because he the one that actually did all this shit, man. Yep, yep. Oh, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. He the, the only one, won't ask us to do something he won't do himself. He, he, right. he, he said He said to Abraham, sacrifice me your son. What the Lord do? That's right. Sacrifice Yahweh Shai. That's right. You see? You know? That, that, that's supposed to show the, the, the difference here, <laughs> man. The clear difference between the wicked and the righteous, you know? Uh, Esau, uh, uh, it's like, I was going to say, Esau is just a, uh, a, a natural born liar, you know? Yeah. He, he's speaking lies when he comes off the moon. You know, he's a hypocrite, man. And that's his, you know, it's one of his characteristics, man. Yeah. It says, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, 
that saved unto Zion thy power reign. You know? And I got one more Bible Go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Woo. See, in the sight of the unwise, all right, under, in the sight of those that love this world and don't understand this truth, in their sight, it seems that we dead and we just miserable and just just all poor baby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it say what? It says, and their departure is taken for misery. Right. And they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. But they are at peace. We are at peace back here, yes. man. That's right, man. Sure, we're, we're sighing and crying. All right, sure, we have this knowledge and we're sorrowing because here it is. We know better now and we want to be the uh, 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 in the place where we're going to be in these bodies where we're going to do perfectly according to the Most High God. All right? The, the, the Most High God's rules and regulations is going to be the order of the day. All right? See, but it's not that now. So it's like, dang. You know, but we understand that we have to go through this and it's coming. So then we're happy and our hope holds us down, all right, to maneuver through this world and to go through what we oh, have I to go through, it, all right? That's real too, man, because these people that are in the world, man, Esau's good at tricking you into thinking that you've got a lot of shit and he'll just give you just what you need to serve him. Damn. And these motherfuckers be tempted, like, niggas in the world gotta worry about their best friend fucking their woman, yeah. stealing some shit from their house. Like, a nigga will steal some shit from you and then help you look for it out here, man. Yeah, yeah. We don't gotta worry about that over here, man. That's right. Yeah. He don't got no problem with, I'm not at the house, y'all go in there while I'm pulling up my woman upstairs. Ain't nobody gonna go up there and bother with her. Yep. Bunch of money sitting on the table, Come on, you know man. what I'm saying? We got, oh yeah, go on in. Oh, oh, you oh, drop yeah. some money or you drop yeah. some, a regular nigga won't say shit. Oh, we gonna, we'll get in the car and drive all the way back to the crib to drop <laughs> yeah, it off, man. Wait, the, 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 step, me, man. the step on it like. Come on, look, man. You know all right, bro, have a nice day. Hey, they're like, oh shit, I dropped my water. <laughs> Damn, you probably Come on, man. A lot, of you motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers in the world don't know what it's like to be around somebody that got your best interests at heart. And that includes your fucking family, man. That's right. Of of a lot of these people, man, are very one. envious That's and covetous of what one. we got here, man. Because they... It reminds me of that, um, I think it's in the book of Acts where uh, you had, what was it, was it Simon, where you tried that guy named Simon, you tried to buy the Holy Spirit? Yeah, See, Simon these people, the Sorcerer. Yup, they, these people, they, 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 they want it, but you know what I'm saying, but they can't have it, you know what I mean? It's like, and they're pissed about it. Right. Deep down inside, these people are pissed that they don't have what we got, man. Yeah, That's right. why they try in all, in all their power to take you out of this truth, man, okay? That's why they try to put hella uh, on you at the job. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I know you don't smoke, but I got a QP over here. Let's roll up the QP, bro. Oh, the QP. whole you ain't gotta pay. QP. You ain't gotta pay me nothing, bro. I know you on. You know, just cause you don't smoke, you ain't gotta pay me nothing, bro. Damn. Damn. Hey, hey, hey. But, but it, you was in the world. It was like that Mexico. Niggas like that, we call them who? <laughs> Try to get cool, just smoke your weed up. That's what they do. I like that nigga, that nigga Snoop Dogg in half back when he walked up on the nigga on the porch. <laughs> right, right. You, you, you finishing that? Uh, yeah, this you know, is one more verse too. Okay. It says, for, they, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. See? That's the, our hope is full of immortality because we're about the ways of, of the Most High God the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High God, which produces immortality. That's why the Most High God, he ain't never died. So right. I want to roll with the way of the Most High God, man. Right. Right. So-called right. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're the Israelites that the Bible speak of. That's right. right. All right, I was for them real quick. That's but right. uh, we'll go ahead. Yeah, you had mentioned the uh, titles. This, uh, the good titles, the gospel, yeah. This uh, Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 3, it says, Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are with fearful heart, Be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even the Most High with the recompense, he will come and save. Hey, you see that? He will come and save us. Guess what? 
Everything else happened. He said, if you're going to uh, go out and forsake me and go outside of the ways that I give you, then I'm going to punish you. That's right. happened. That's right. We here right now. That's right. So on punishment. Mm -hmm. Suffering in captivity to these heathen nations and their ways and their vibrations. That's right. We here right now. Like he said, it was going to happen. Everything. And all the different uh, nations that, that ruled according to the will of the Father, that the scriptures say was going to happen, all that happened. Right. All of it, everything that the scriptures say was going to happen uh, from the beginning of time up until May 7th, 418 on Saturday that they call this place. All right. Uh, everything done happened. Right. So guess what? Everything else going to happen too. Right. Yeah. He says it's no variable of, of, of change. Right. He's bound to his word. Right. He said it was going to happen, so we're going to be saved, y'all. And right. guess what? According to the prophecies, we at that very last second. Right. All right? So we're in a better case than, you know, what it was like 2,000 years ago. Uh, the disciples was like, yeah, it's all right, because he had risen. He, they had crucified him, and he risen, and they seen him. Damn. Yeah. He was right there so. with them. And he was, they was like, Woo! <laughs> Is it now time, Lord? Time for you to restore the kingdom back to us, the Israelites? Yeah. Huh? Right. <laughs> Utmost parts. Right. Utmost parts. Utmost parts. What do you mean? Gentiles. <laughs> hey, 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 right, right. Then they beheld him going, and they're like, wait a minute. And they're like, and they beheld him leaving. Like, they said, wait, wait, why are you gazing up? Why are you gazing up there like that? You know what I'm saying? The same one that's leaving like that? Right. He coming like that. Right. Yep. All right, that's how he coming. But, so we ain't 2,000 years ago because that was the, that was the beginning of the end. Uh, that was 2,000, over 2,000 years ago. The beginning of the end. Uh, Here it is over 2,000 years later. We're at the end of the end. That's right. Whether you believe it or not. That's right. And you got the true prophets raised up by the Lord, all right, to come and teach you the word of truth. That's it. Warn you of the war uh, of the word of truth. Warn you of the judgment of being with this world. That's right. It said you a friend of this world, you an enemy of the Most High God. That's, That's right. right. If you about that bad, you an enemy of the Most High God. That's right. All right, if you want to see 10 years from now, you an enemy of the Most High God. That's right. right. Guess so. I got something. Go ahead, bro. This goes with what you say when you say that wickedness has its time, huh. righteousness has its eternity. Righteousness has its eternity. Yes, sir. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 3, and it reads, Now is the end come upon thee, <laughs> and I will send mine anger upon thee, Woo! and I will judge thee according to thy way. You according to thy way. So guess what? If you about any way, outside of the way that he said was upright, that one straight and narrow Ooh, way and path, right. all right, that we it. must come to. <laughs> if you're about any other way, then you're gonna be a part of that judgment. Go ahead, brother. And, hold on. We the Israelites, man, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the true chosen people of the Most High God, man. That's right. That's right. It ain't no kawinky dink, man. We're the best at everything. Right. Right. We've been lied to, y'all. Right. We've yeah. been lied to our whole lives. Us, our parents, our parents' parents, our parents' parents' parents. That's Ever right. since we've been brought over here, right. we've been lied to. <laughs> they done took our book and misinterpreted it to us. And here it is, we gung-ho for a misinterpretation. We gung-ho, all right, all right for uh, 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 the, 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 the uh, way that our enemy, our oppressor, told us our own book, and they don't even know it. That's right. Go ahead, read, brother. And will recompense upon thee. Payback. Thy... Recompense means to pay back. The Father, the Creator, right. say He's paying back those who was a friend of this world. If you're a friend of this world, again, you're an enemy of the Most High God. That's right. Our Lord and Savior, He made His body a living sacrifice in this world. Right. So now what? We got to come and do the same thing, all right? 
and go through what we gotta go through for our purification and perfecting, all right? We're the chosen children of the Most High God, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And now they call us niggas, spinks, tontos, whatever. And then we happy. We black and we proud. That's right. Mexican pride. Nonsense. Pride. There ain't no pride in that. Hey, man, a mo got pride too, man. Right. Gay pride. The Lord is coming to destroy those that's not about his way. Go ahead, brother. Read it from the top. What you, where you uh, started from? All right. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter seven, verse three, and it reads: Now is the end to come upon thee, and now, I will. Hey, now is the end come upon thee. We telling you, we at the end. All these jackleg preachers in these churches that didn't learn a false doctrine, and, and here it is, our people are are just gung ho and zealous for that, man. See, but it says in the scriptures that that was going to happen. If the blind lead the blind, they both fall into a ditch. That's right. See, the men of the Lord that the Lord is raising up, they against this world. That's they right. speaking against this world. That's we right. ain't about the money, cars, right. clothes, and the holes, success, fortune, and fame, and power in a temporal world that the Lord is coming to judge by way of fire. That's, That's right. right. Are you out your mind? That's right. Diane says yes. And guess what? We all were out of our mind at one point in time. But all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, through his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahweh Shah. That's right. All right, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, for Yahweh Shah. And then the elect men who are going to wake up to come and stand up against wickedness, stand up against this place, speak out against it. Stand with great boldness in the face of those that have afflicted us. Right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. And if you win it, you wicked too. That's right. Look at this place. Look at our people. You right. out your mind if you with this place, man. Right. Go ahead. And I will send my anger upon thee. Yeah, I will send my you. anger upon thee. It says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. If you ain't mad, then you dumb. That's right. And guess what? I was dumb at one point in time. God. I was dumb. I didn't know no better. I believed what they taught me. I was trying to live my best life. But all praises to y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shai, for waking me up, man. Right. And calling me and Lord willing I'm chosen to endure to the end in this That's right. right. All right, because he's not coming to save those that's with this world He's not coming to save those that when he come they like this Partying and shit now he's coming to save those that sign and crying Lord. I ain't with it right. Look at them look how they doing. I told them I tried I Did what you told me to do? That's I'm right. not with it, Lord. That's Help right. me. That's I need we, a savior, Jack. That's right. That's Go ahead. We, that's why we the witnesses. That's it. And Go I, ahead. And I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. Woo! He's going to pay back for those that's all about this place. Now, guess what? All your sins will be justified if you have this faith and come into this knowledge before the door of repentance shut and you have faith in the truth. And you perfect your faith by the way you think and by the way you live and producing fruits of righteousness, man. That's right. Read what you sow, what goes around, comes around. That's right. Hey, hey, hey brother, you, you said before you were dumb. The, the real definition of, of, of dumb is to not be able to speak and hear right. But now we can That's speak it. and hear right. That's it. Now, because because of, of this knowledge and understanding, because of this truth. Yeah. 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 Who got you some? I go, oh, so like, go ahead, brother. This Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? What if you don't believe what we're talking about up here? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Shall your unbelief make the, the reward we gonna get without effect? Lord willing, we endure to the end. Yahweh forbid. Yahweh forbid. Shall it make the, the prophecies now not happen because you don't believe? Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. See, the most high is right. If any man lean into his own understanding, he a liar. He a liar. If we're not speaking, thus saith the Lord through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, directly and correctly, rightly dividing the word of truth, you a liar. Right. I, I don't have my own interpretation of this Bible. I don't have my own opinion. 
I rend that. I tear my own opinion. My, my opinions and thoughts get always led me to something bad. So no, nope, I'm not rolling with my opinion. I'm gonna roll with the, uh, the thoughts and the ways of the Most High God in right. truth. That's right. Go ahead. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. You see, I want to overcome. All right. When I'm judged, I want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. I want to hear that. That's right. Us. And be crowned. All right. And be one of the creme de la creme in the eternal righteous kingdom. You see? Forget, forget being one of the elites and riches in the creme de la creme in this present evil world that's slated for destruction. At the top of my creme de la creme, here it is, now the Lord coming ass out of there. Now I'm Hey, yeah, and, 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 and here it is. Even if I was, you know, the creme de la creme, but then it was time for me to go the next day. Look, 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 look Kevin, 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 Kevin Savage. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? He, he, out of these past two years, made millions. That's right. Millions. That's right. All right, and he had a a a a, a, a plan of a, a a video he was gonna do yesterday. Couldn't do it. That's right. <laughs> Couldn't spend none of that millions no more. That's right. He was the one of the creme de la creme. Now he out of there. He was a friend of this world. That's he right. spoke a lot of you know good stuff and, and against feminism. You know what I'm saying? But he was not a man of the Lord. No light. It was still a tainted doctrine. Yep. Uh, he that's was a, why, that's yep. why the Lord took his ass out because it was still a tainted doctrine. That's right. They still didn't push the, 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 the true Lord. righteousness, the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shai. That's right. That's yeah, right. he talked a little shit. I'll say it like that. He made some good points, but it was still a tainted doctrine. That's yep. right. Very entertaining. Very but entertaining. He, yeah. But he himself alluded to how he knew what we're talking about right now. Yeah. And when you try to take bits and pieces and start mixing shit to fix it, you got to pay the price for that, man. Well, he trying to mix it to fix it, trying to, cause he was coming with a kind of okay doctrine, but it was still catered to this world, though. Of course, yes. Yeah. And at the end of the day, when you start signing contracts with the government and women, you're not gonna be able to uphold things the way they're supposed to be upheld, because now you gotta answer to somebody else, and that's the type of stuff he was promoting, man. Who ultimately took breath out of this man? The Most, Most High. How about Shimei Shai took breath? He's the only Yahweh is the only one who put breath life in you. He's the only one who can take life out of you. That's the right. Lord got tired of him talking that shit. That's right. He want the he want the gospel preached. That's right. Hey, and look, he might have went out a good way, but it's still ironic how he went out at the same time, man. Hey, the, the brother said speaking the word directly and correctly, man. All these celebrities, these uh, high end Drakes and stuff, to me. I, they're just kings of conjecture, man. That's right. They, they 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 have no choice but to follow the agreement that they have with each other. The scriptures say they are the father of the devil, man. They're, at the end of the day, they're still going to bow down to the system. Yeah. When times get rough, which times are about to get real rough out here, they're going to bend the knee, man. That's yeah. right. All right? They're going to bend the knee to this society. All right, see, but see, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yashai, has reserved what is the still 7,000 men, which that's just a, a, a number of completion, all right? It's not necessarily 7,000, all right? But those uh, those men, they're not gonna bow their, their knee to the image of Baal, man. That's right. Basically, this whole system, man. They're gonna say, "Fuck this place, man. That's That's right. Kill me, man. Uh, if, if, kill me, man. Take my Fuck it. Right now, yep. That's right. Hey, hey, but guess what? They can't do nothing that ain't the will of the Father. No. That's right. right. All right. So, uh, yeah, go ahead, brother. Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may not they may be blotted out. See, I want my sins blotted out, man. I want my sins blotted out, bro. Because I, I, I can just think of, you know, my bullshit, man. That's right. And, and I deserve death, man. But may the Lord see fit to have mercy on me. And that's why I, I, I'm on his squad. That's right. That's why I'll be a fool for his sake. That's right. All right? You want to hate me because of righteousness and this truth? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Uh, repent therefore, repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's it. Mm. That's the, the time of refreshing, man. The, that's our Lord coming, man, to put a judgment on this place by way of fire to refresh and rejuvenate this earth, man. All right, and then set up the righteous 
Uh, somebody speak, I'll give some. Oh, you can give some. Uh, Cleanse, uh, clean up, and kill. That's right. That's right. I got a precept to back that up. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 33. And uh, I'm going to start at uh, 14. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. See, because Jack uh, uh, brought it out how, look, hey, we all messed up, man, okay? And, he, and we're looking for the Lord to basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, blot out our sins, man, okay? You know, basically yeah. him winking at our sins and, and, and pretty much focusing on our righteousness, our righteous acts. We want to be judged on those things, okay? Our righteous sacrifices, not not our uh, uh, the, the wickedness that we've committed, okay? That's why it's very important to keep pushing, man, and keep putting in that work, man. That's right. All right. Okay. Uh, you, I got one, yeah. Hey, you know what? Just like the brother was saying, you know, like you know what? Like I mean, we are we are the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. You know, and we have that blessing. We are Yahshua, and you have to understand that. You know, like to actually get it right, and I'm bring out a scripture, First Peter two and nine. But ye are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That you should show forth the praises of who have called you out of the darkness if, into the darkness, marvelous light. All right. So going back to you know what you were saying, like it means we are uh, being the nation of Israel. You know we know that we don't mess up. I'll say it like this: basically, we got called out of uh, out of darkness because the brother brought out how we were in gross darkness at one point, right? But we've been calling to this marvelous light. And with that being said, we have to be what? Those kings, those priests, man. And look, the priest, he's going to uh, uh, do the works of Yahweh Hashem Shai, okay? He's going to uh, 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 perform sacrifices, man. All right? And right now, we're not actually sacrificing animals anymore. We're, well, we're doing spiritual sacrifices. Get that in Sirach 35, man. Okay? Because right, hey, th this is an altar, man, all right? Because in the book of uh, Isaiah 19 and 19, it says, there's going to be an altar in the midst of Egypt, okay? This is that altar. And right now, we're spending, uh, uh, sending up spiritual sacrifices unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, man, okay? And, and these things are pleasing unto him. Right. They see the Lord. He he loves this man. For All right. Can I bring on nineteen nineteen? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Get this that. is Isaiah nineteen and nineteen. In that day, there shall be an altar to the Lord yep. in the midst of the land of Egypt. Yeah, and this is yeah, spiritual right. Egypt. All right. That's this right. This is Egypt all over again. Yeah, and the pillar God. at the border there of the Lord. That's right. The main point is that this is that altar in the midst of Egypt. Okay. You get that. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter thirty-five and verse one. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. Yep, exactly. Hey, if you're keeping the law, hey, you're bringing an offering right there. Okay? And hey, what did the Lord say, man? Don't come empty-handed. That's right. right. You got to bring something to the table, man. This ain't no fucking cookout where you niggas can just come and you don't bring shit, but you're going home with five the plates. Doggy, a nigga will make his plates to go home <laughs> before he eats the fucking plate at the barbecue, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it ain't just one, one plate got all the ribs on it. One plate just covered in macaroni. You niggas ain't shit, man. That's true. Cheese, this is the rock chapter 35 verse 1. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. He that taketh heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. Yep, that's a peace offering. Keep going. He that requireth a good turn Offereth fine flour, mm -hmm. and he that giveth alms sacrificeth praise. Yep, keep going. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to Yahweh, and to forsake unrighteousness is a profit, profitation. Propitiation. Propitiation. Okay. So these things are pleasing unto the Lord. This is all going into your sacrifice. All right. And this is what we've done. Hey, we've forsaken this present evil world. All right. Yeah, a lot of us, they could have made it in this world, so to speak. We, we, we could have been lost in the sauce like everyone else, man. That's right. You know? A lot of brothers had a lot of talents, man. A lot of opportunities. But they said, fuck it, man. Fuck it. Because they, as the elder Yaku was saying, why, why am I going to, you know, 
basically make it to the top when this place is going to be destroyed, man. That's What's right. the point? That's right. And even before it gets destroyed, all you niggas that's at the top, you're going to have to be forced to do something that everybody at the bottom is going to be doing too. And you're not going to have an option to do it or not. You well, running. you will have an option, but the other the other side of the option, you ain't going to like it. You ain't running from the Lord's judgment, man. Yeah, you, you, you ain't running, man. All right? Keep going. Hey, Esau, even if you're super cool, Esau, and let's just say hypothetically speaking, he wants to protect you, right? You're not running from the Lord, man. That's right. The Lord's above Esau. That's right. I got a quick piece up to back that up. This is uh, Luke 6 and 24. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. You know? Hey, man, look, man. The, 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 the scripture says to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Yeah, right. You know, uh, um, I was telling somebody the other day, man, I said, look, it, it doesn't matter how minuscule it is. The Lord wants you to give it up. That's right. For him. That's right. If you, if you can't do that, you're not for him. That's right. Hey, there's a lot of people out there, man. The guy that brought me into the world just can't stop smoking weed. He cannot fucking stop smoking weed. One thing, man. One thing, and that's gonna be his his fucking death wish, man, because right. of it. And, and, and that's and that's a, that's that's why Yahweh Shai said, "Blessed is he that is not offended in me, man," that's right. because that that's a lot of offenses that the scripture is going to do towards you, and you have to uh, 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 come to terms with Yahweh Shai and, and, and leave your carnality, your your flesh, yourself, your own understanding, and accept that, man. You can't. I'll say this: you can't negotiate negotiate with Yahweh Shai. It's his way or the fucking highway, man. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. See, you see, in this world, people like to do a lot of talking, all right, to get you know their way. There is no fucking talking with the Lord. It's either you follow the guidelines. If not, hey, fuck it, bro. You're you going to be held to death. If you don't got standards, you're still going to be held to this standard. And see, yep. you, niggas are, you niggas are do it for a job. A nigga will quit smoking weed to get that job. Oh, yeah. And it ain't guaranteed that you're going to have that motherfucker tomorrow. Boss could wake up and just say, fuck it. I don't like this nigga. You're fired. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> nigga, shit. You'll stop smoking weed for some shit like that. But you won't put the blunt down for something that's guaranteed, man. Come on, man. No, that was it. Hey, still, uh, you, you brought it out there one week when uh, it was Elder Crab and myself, and you were uh, on the other side still. We were out there preaching. We brought out, you can't eat pork. That fucking Mexican. Oh, that nigga, bro. Uh, man, he, he did that, that fucking Homer Simpson, that, that nigga bro. turned into night crawler, bro. That nigga turned into night crawler, bro. You look this yeah, way. As soon as you turn the other way, the nigga was gone, Yo, bro. Take Come plate. on, man. That one take my he fades away. Fucking right, Batman. That nigga threw the powder on the floor and it's gone, bro. <laughs> that shit wild, so man. man. You pull the Ninja <laughs> Turtle, huh? Come on, man. That nigga said, no, man. I got I got some carnitas at the crib right now. I don't know what these niggas talking about. <laughs> but we're shaking his head for everything else, yeah. though. Like, nigga, you finna die, bro. You look like you about to be diabetic the way you look out here, but you gonna keep doing that shit, though, man. Oh, shit. Come on, bro. Um. Niggas, nigga, fucking bed smell like bacon because them niggas cooking bacon every day, man. <laughs> bacon bed. Yeah. Oh, bacon shit. Come on, bro. Me, bro. Oh, is it a quick man. one? <laughs> yeah, that's a quick one. Uh, exit is 23 and uh, uh, 20. Sorry, 20. Uh, behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to uh, bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not. And that angel is talking about Yahweh Shah. Yep, right. And the Lord said, the Lord, the Lord is telling you, this is who you, that, like, like the brother was going into. Ain't no negotiation. You have to listen to the, the Lord. That's it. We have set the path and we, we have to go in the way. They said, follow me to the path of, uh, follow me, what did it say, to the promised land? Right? Did, uh, did it say that? I heard that correctly. Uh, it says, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. So my name is in here. 20, 20, 20. Okay. Ready? Okay. Read that. Prepare for me. Right. Yeah. Uh, Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place where I have prepared. Exactly. Okay. They, that, that was during that time, during Exodus. Right? But hey, right now, it's, it's happening again, Take man. This, right. All right. Hey, we're leaving what? Egypt again, and we're going to go where? Back to Israel, Please man. Prepare. Back home, man. That's right. And the Lord, He's got a lot of things prepared for us, man. That's right. Okay. So why the hell would you want to uh, uh, ha have something in this life, man? That's right. Uh, a tainted place, man. A woman that's already been, uh, 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 she's already dealt with another man. Uh, a building that's about, that's garbage, man. Half these buildings, man, are, are, are um, 
man, they, they're, they're yeah, fucking, the fucking, the infrastructure is terrible, bro. Yeah, come on, man. The more this shit get worse, the more you gotta pay for it. Sloppy. Yeah, no, that's all good. I'm just, uh, uh, the materials are mixed, man. Everything's mixed. Mix, mix, mix. Come on, man. Nothing's uh, pure, man. Your clothes are mixed. You don't even get pure cotton, pure wool, pure silk uh, garments. Pure water, pure air. Exactly. Everything's devoured in this place. The people, my two are mixed. Yeah, you go to a, you can go to a church where it's all for molds and man, yeah, look, yeah, man, yeah. man, the Lord comes swiftly, man. Come on, yeah. man, motherfuckers letting let let uh motherfucking uh Israelites come into church with that bullshit, man. <laughs> having uh having what they call a unity camp with Israelites, man. What fucking clowns, man? And yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got you got Israelites out there. You got. Some that believe in your Halabah, Shemel, Shai, others that don't. Come on, man. You got and you got a unity camp in there. Bro, you got motherfuckers uh, talking about some, uh, I seen this shit on, um, on Facebook or some shit like that. This nigga Farrakhan and, and uh, IUIC having unity camps, this man. This is fucking madness. Bro. What kind of bullshit you niggas got going on, man? It's, it's a plot. It's a plot. Where the fuck you niggas coming from? This is bullshit, black man. Community. Black. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. This, 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 this whole society is just about mixing it to fix it, man. That's all you niggas want to do. But if the most high decide that he going to mix something up and change something up, you niggas will be crying like a bitch, man. Nobody wanted to be changed up when it affect them. When, 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 when somebody wrong you, you want the rules to be upheld to the highest standard. But when you fuck up, it's a but I or it's it, yeah, but. Niggas always got that in their back pocket, man. And that's why we out here, like Salaki, like that's why we out here right now. I'm gonna bring up the scriptures. It's the second edge, it's one and five. Go that way and show my people their sinful deeds. Yeah, that's what we do, man. We're rebuking our people. Alright, well, we're those priests that are, are to basically show you what's righteous and what's profane, man. Alright, as it says in Ezekiel the 44 chapter. Because a lot of our people, they don't know what's right, what's wrong. They don't. Because right. they, they haven't had someone uh, someone teach them the, you know, the correct way. They and really, this is why we're out here. They really don't, man. There was a lady that just passed, you know, a few moments ago, just passed by in a big-ass truck. And I saw her son on the, on, the, on the passenger seat, front seat. And she's in the driver's seat, obviously. But she's banging some loud music. And you can hear the woman is saying, you know what I'm saying, how she likes sex. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you got your son there, man. Like... You know, like they have no shame. No right? shame, man. They don't know that she she has no she don't know no better. She has no idea how much she's damaging her son, herself, right. everything, man. Hey, real quick too, There's man. No because care. A big problem a lot of these motherfuckers got is that they certain people think they above getting rebuked. Shit, I've been getting rebuked for the last like 24 hours, man. Everybody over here subject to rebuke. Man. Yeah, this ain't no, well, this guy is this guy, so we're not going to rebuke him. Ain't none of that shit over here, man. If that, if that, when he talk about this lady, if his son would have tried to check his mama for that wild ass shit, she'll probably slap him in his mouth and tell him to get out the car. Yep. <laughs> when she deserved to get rebuked for that shit, man. And their children, their wickedness, which they have done against me, yep. that they may tell their children's children. Exactly, Ooh. man. All right. And see, what you're seeing right now, man, is uh, the building up of a nation, man. The Lord said, what, he's going to uh, set them in order before their eyes? Right. That's what everyone's seeing right now, okay? Right. The, uh, the, the Lord is raising up uh, 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 these people that, that were, you know, uh, that were skeletons, bones. The, uh, now, all of a sudden, they, they got bodies. They, they got the breath of life in them. They got clothing on. You know what I'm saying? They're standing up stiffly. That's what these people are seeing. That's making a lot of people afraid, man. It's right. it, it's getting a lot of people nervous, man. Right. Even two thirds of our own people, because they, they they don't want this, man. And the reason why is because Esau basically gives them what a license to sin, man. And see, the Lord he don't give no man a license to sin. Esau will actually he'll uh, 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 um he, he he'll give you what's the word I'm looking. He'll give you like promotion, so to speak. You know, gifts. All right. As long as you, you know, do some wickedness, he'll give you some type of perk, man. In That's this right. society, man. Right. all right. Because of the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me, and I have offered unto strange gods. Exactly. They have offered, uh, uh, basically sacrifices unto strange gods, man. Okay. Have a good two man. You know, our, our people, they, they, they go to where, man? They call it what in the scriptures? The harlot houses, those churches. 
Hey, tomorrow, man, you're going to see everybody there, man. All it's right. Mother's Day, that's Queen right. of Heaven that's worship, wicked, okay? Man, that shit is all right, man. They're, they're going to be worshiping JC, Guadalupe, all right? Whatever fucking bullshit, man. They're going to go to the goddamn parks, like you were saying, with the goddamn cookouts. Fucking, you know, fry up some goddamn pork, pork chops, man. Some fucking pork ribs. What else, man? Only, 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 to, only to discuss with each other about the shit they're going to eat. Later on tonight, yeah. boils, all that shit. The these adultery they're gonna commit, man. Yeah, these niggas finding ways to put shrimp in shit that don't even supposed to have shrimp in it, man. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I, I seen this recently at Marianne's macaroni with fucking lobster. Man. Come on, bro. Yeah, macaroni well, and fucking yeah, lobster. What the fuck shrimp is that? Shrimp infused trout. Bro, they put they, they shrimp put shrimp infused trout. They put shrimp, shrimp infused trout. Now, bro, I never heard of that trout. shit. Bro. That's fucked up. Yeah. Nigga can't even eat a deviled egg no more because these niggas chopping shrimp up and putting it in the filling on the inside. Shit, you get a damn salad, you think you're eating healthy. Oh, fucking bacon bits. Come on, man. Yeah. Bacon yeah. bits. Bacon bits. Oh, man, oh, well, you know, but, yeah, we made some broccoli, but uh, we gonna pour this lard on top of here, though. <laughs> and the lard is part good for that shit, man. Yeah. And the lord said, I am not even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt yeah. from the house of bondage, but they have provoked me into wrath. And despise my counsel. Exactly. And look, we're the counsel oh, of the Lord, man. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me see if this is the same chapter. It talks about how we're the counsel. That's what he said. I can't think of where it's at, but it says that we're. It's the second chapter, actually. Go to the second chapter real quick. Read this real quick. Uh, read that. Read this. And uh, what does it say that we're the counsel? Because there's nothing in it. You know what it is? Second yeah, yeah, yeah. two and one. That yeah. says the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by messengers, the prophets. Messengers, messengers. That's a mess up. Oh, lucky. This is Second Andrews two and one. That says the Lord. I brought this people out of bondage and I gave them my commandments by the servants, the messengers, the prophets. Exactly. Hey, look, man, we're, we're, we're the messengers. We're the mouthpiece of the Lord to tell you the commandments of the Lord. That's right. And they get mad at us because of that. Well, fuck you, man. We don't give a shit, man. That's who right. they hey. will not hear. Yep, who they will not hear. Because but despise my counsel. Exactly. Right. Despise uh, the Lord's counsel. Right. Right. Councils, right? We're the councils of the Lord, man. Right. We're, the, we're here to tell you what's right, what's wrong, where you're going off on, all right? Well, what's to come, how to prepare, etc., etc., man. A lot of people don't want to hear that, though. They want to continue to, 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 to live the good life, right, so to speak. All right? To live their best life in America, man. To be a goddamn mole, man, a fucking slut, all right? What else, man? It'd be a goddamn pedal. Cause yeah, you got a lot of creepers in our fucking, you know, you know, amongst our own people, man. That's that right. are into that, man. That are into bestiality, man. Right. All right, you, you go to South America or the islands, man. Hey, they're, they're, they're committing bestiality, man, with pigs and stuff, man, and chickens and all On that. On a regular basis. Yeah. You know what? My um, when I this used shit's to go, real. When I used to go to, it was an after school program I used to go to when I was a kid, and it was a janitor nigga that worked there that was from Puerto Rico. This motherfucker told us that when he was a shorty, they used to take cows and put them in, in water like this high, and the cow won't move, and these fucking animals is fucking the cows, man. And this nigga telling little kids this shit, bro. <laughs> That's like why it's funny, say man. They're wise to do evil, but yeah. you do good, they have none understanding, man. Some shit shit, man. Phrasing, man. That's why yeah. two thirds gonna be destroyed, man. That's this, fucked this up. This is the judge. Oh, this is the Lord's justification of why he's gonna kill two thirds. Yeah. Listen to the, the, the sick stuff that, that Jake is doing, man. How you sit on the couch and come up with that shit, man? Let me go ahead and get this. Fuck, man. The second edge is one and thirteen. I led you through the sea and the and in the in the beginning gave you a large and safe passion. I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you a light and a pillar of fire. I gave you wonders and I have done among you. Yet ye forgotten me, saith the Lord. You gotta remember, it. It's like I said, you gotta remember. The Lord allowed Moses to split a, a sea so we can walk through it. Press on. Then Press close on. the sea up to kill the Egyptians, a huge army that was chasing us. Then you gotta think about this, man. 
there is a fire at night, man. Okay, and you have, okay, think about it. You're in a desert. It's pitch fucking black, man. Pitch fucking black. And you have a, 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 a orb, basically, so to speak, right? Which is the chariots of the Lord on fire guiding them. Oh, man. And then on top, think about it. It's cool at night, so you're probably getting warm for that. Cold at night. All right? Then, then in, the, in, the, in, the, um, in the daytime, you're in the desert, mind you. It's hot as hell. But that's a, a covering for you, man. That's a cloud right. by day, as the scriptures say, man. That's right. Yeah, hey, temperatures in the desert could drop to like 50. And, and, and more than that. No, in the desert, no, in the desert, get tens. Yeah, they 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 get, yeah. in the, but in, in the, in, in when the sun rises, it can get a hundred and ten. And, and that'll kill you. Yeah, the temperature yeah. will kill you like that, Because even if it was 10, even if it was just 60 degrees, from that going from 110 yeah. to dropping to 60, yeah. You're gonna be freezing like it's 10 degrees yeah. outside, man. Yeah. Think about this too, man. Then the Lord was dropping manna from the heavens to feed you to make sure your belly was full. Hey, your garments, your shoes, none of that got destroyed. It stayed the same the whole time. I Our people right are here. a bunch of ungrateful sons of bitches, man. That's right. right here. Straight this up. Second, man. This is second edges 1 and 17. What are the benefits that I have done for you when you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness? Mm. Did you not cry unto me? Saying, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? I'm grateful that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then they were complaining. All right? Nigga, you was just saying your back peeled off two weeks ago. Yeah. Nigga, what you <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, the leeks, the melons, the onions, bro. We could have we been in Egypt with the, the leeks, the melons, and the onions. And they wanted to go back. Come on, man. Look, when I was, we was watching the, the Prince of Egypt uh, over, during the Passover, and I, it was a part at the beginning of the movie where these niggas was racing. Moses and um and, and, and uh the Pharaoh's son was racing. And they ended up fucking some shit up and made a big ass mess. It was sand everywhere. Only thing that popped in my head was, man, bro, they really gonna make Jack go clean that shit, man. Beat them first, I Sand covered, I mean, the whole shit covered in sand, Jake. Like, I'm just thinking like, damn, bro, Jake finna have to really go and shovel all this sand the fuck up out of here to continue to doing the work that they was already doing. And you niggas want to complain, man? Well, that's 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 reality. It, it says in the scriptures that that uh, uh, the, 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 the the pharaoh uh, made the, the labor worse. Yeah, they had to go get their own materials, all that, man. You know, so so yeah, that's a reality, man. That's a reality that our people suffer so much, and yet we suffer even more. And it, and it's really because of our stiff neckness towards our power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it's our inability to be obedient to Him. That's why uh, uh, it says, I believe in uh, Jeremiah seven and twenty-two. To get it real quick, it says, um, Jeremiah seven and twenty-two. It says. Uh, It says, For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices, but this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people, and walk ye in the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But our people have a lack of obedience in their spirit, man. Especially being under the the, the, the the vibration of the wicked Esau Edom, the original rebellious spirit, man. That's right. You see? This is the problem with our people, man. That's why Yahweh Yaha said, do not that thing that I hate, man. Idolatry. Once you start doing that, all doors of wickedness have opened up for you. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and let me comment on this. Uh, for a man that didn't preach the gospel, that critiqued women, Died on their self-proclaimed weekend, and the commercial that's out you seen in their commercial, shave your legs nice and pretty, worship yourself. That's the theme of the commercial. Worship yourself. Damn. So, I mean, should I continue? You ignoring the gospel and you, you're doing the, uh, as brother just said, idolatry, vanity. Yeah. It's all about you. It's all about me. Let's the pop these bottles. Let's the get it in. The, the woman worship has been around since pagan times. Like and that's like well, how are we gonna you know how their calendar is like we're gonna fall in again, you know what I'm saying? Like I mean that's that's what it's all about. You know, like and like you know, like I mean but the scriptures tell us different. 
you know, like, I mean, it's through a man, it's through a man's seed, you know, like, I mean, it was through a man, I was shot, you know, like, so, I mean, I don't know what the fuck they talk about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, that's the bullshit. Yeah, Satan, Satan, Satan told her and built her up a long time ago in the, uh, in the garden, man, he told her, uh, I got you, don't worry about what the, what the most I say, and I got you. No, right now, the same thing. That's why she's in She's child, built man. up from him, man. Yeah. How much you more now? She, she couldn't answer the question, her, what is your definition of woman? She couldn't answer. Right. Because she knows she would have to say servant. I'm part man. of the devil. Hey. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, the, 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 definition, the definition of woman is servant. servant. Man. Actually, I did a lesson. <laughs> Go ahead, get it. The Come definition on. of a woman. Go ahead. <laughs> and it says, <laughs> it says, it says, that it is the human being that has a female reproductive organ, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, that's a woman, so it's the opposite of a man. You know what I'm saying? You know, not just to be a you know, servant of a man, but I'm saying when you go into the secular uh, 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 definition and all that, the worldly definition, it's just, it's plain and simple, man. A woman is is a, is a human that can give birth, that can, that can give babies, man. You know, the weaker part of the man in, in, uh, in one of the definitions. That's right. Hey, man, and, and, and like the brother said, that it's a simple, a slippery slope. Yeah. And you start stepping into this idolatry, and, and, and every people say, oh, you, you being overreactive. You motherfuckers think that a dude can say he a woman because he feel like it. Now they put niggas in jail, and he knocking all the bitches in the jail up because he just told them he was a woman. That's the type of shit that get opened up when you start talking like this, man. The thing is, you let one thing slide in and then, uh, you know, spill things from, you know, with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just not one thing, man. You know? It's just not one thing. That's why the scriptures say a little leaven, leaven it the whole love. You can't, you, you can't. You know, you, you, you just, you can't allow that wickedness to seep in, man, because then, well, if that one thing, you know, gets allowed, then, well, this person on the wall, will say, well, how come you can't justify my, my, uh, uh actions? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. the third thing, you know? But, um, what you, what you got now? Did you have something or no? No, no. But can you get that, uh, back in that cigar? I still got that Ezekiel 33. I want to finish off after you finish that cigar. Mm -hmm. It is the whole world of wickedness, man, all right? And our people are constantly offering what? Wicked spiritual sacrifices, man. That's why they're gonna get destroyed, man. But see, we're up here. We're trying to offer righteous spiritual sacrifices, man. Right. We don't want the Lord to uh, remember, you know, the the wicked deeds that we've done in this flesh. None of us are perfect. That's right. You know. Uh, uh, let's read it again, Bob. Uh, show. Let's start. You want me to start at one again? Uh, no, wherever you were at. Three, right, I think. This is Sirach 35 and three. Depart from, to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to Yahweh, yep. and to forsake unrighteousness is a pro. Propitiation. Thou shalt not appear empty before Yahweh. Exactly, you can't appear empty before the Lord. You gotta offer something, man. Okay. For all these. I'll say this real quick. No, it's all good. I'll say this real quick because you got. I'll say this. Not everyone's a prophet. Correct. We all know that. Hey, but for for hey, you people, you know, for to the ones that are out there, you know, still listening and learning, you still have to uh, offer something, man. Hey, can you give real quick Ecclesiastes 12 and like 12, 12 and 13? I forget where it's at exactly. Well, what's the whole duty of men? Oh, okay. well, you gotta you follow, I was gonna say, you gotta follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Right, right. That, that's your offering right there. That's right. Ecclesiastes 12, uh, 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Exactly. Okay, you still gotta follow the laws. That, that's your offering right there. Okay, that might be your lot. Just to believe, listen, follow, and do the, uh, you know, do the, uh, you know, do the uh, Lord's commandments. Okay, but then you got different, uh, you know, every brother here's got different lots. Hey, some brothers got, a, you know, you know, let's just say, you know, what is it, the scriptures were 10 talents, some five, you know, one, two, you know what I'm saying? All right, whatever it is, man, you gotta fulfill that measure, okay? In fact, two of them, for two of them, it said that they had little. Yeah. For, for, for two of those guys that had the talent, right? It said that they had, it, it, the Lord said, because you did good with little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to give you much for two of them. Which means that, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be, they, they, and let's say in this group, 
they could be more brothers that have a little portion than they have a lot. And in the next group of brothers, there could be more brothers that have the higher portion. And then, you know what I'm saying? This is how the Lord is, man. I'm going to say this. Every, bo uh, every brother is important, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's just say you might be, because the scriptures talk about how we're a body, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. You know, we're a body. Hey, somebody might be just that, you know, that, that uh, a fingernail. That's very important. It's a small piece of the body, yep. but it's very important. If that fingernail falls off, man, I guarantee you, you're going to be going through fucking hell, man. That's right. Yeah. All right, so every brother is important, man, because every brother is what? A part of the, uh, the body of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, a, a part of this temple. Okay, okay. let's take it for granted. Real quick, that's why you can't eye poke in the MMA. Oh, yeah. Because one is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You can literally poke somebody's eye out, right? And it messed them up for life, blind them and all that, you know what I'm saying? The eye is sensitive. But, man, if you've ever been poked hard in the eye while you, you know what I'm saying, trying to do some, yeah, man, you, you get distorted, yo, you all messed up, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you open for a blow, man. Deep, that's a small thing that happens to the body, and look at the big effect. That's right. You know? That's right. You know, in the military, I know that part of the training is to go for the thumb and just rip it off. You, you try to do that to any brother, man, they're going to go straight to the floor. That's a small thumb, but it, it affects the whole body. Somebody else? All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. Whereas the body is one and have many members, all right, and all the members of that one body being many, are one body, so also is the Amashiach, right? So, like the brothers were saying, like, I mean, we are all one body, you know? Like, you know, this brother might do something, this yeah. brother do something different, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we're all together, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one one membrane, you know? Like, one one big organism, man, right. one big fluid thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I we all mean, have a role. And we all have a role. Well, the, the, the eye is different from the mouth, the mouth is different from the ear, That's right. the ear is different from the hand, That's but they right. all serve their purpose. That's right. Okay? And, and if you lose one of those things, you won't be like how you said, you won't be messed up. Yeah. Hey, it's like Voltron, man. In order for them to really become the robot that's going to win at the end, everybody got to be there. Yeah. If it's just four of them there, then they're not going to combine and be walking around where it's just one arm or one leg on the robot. They don't even come together, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just saying, it's just, it, it, it builds in a house, you know, it, you, have, you have different uh, 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 tradesmen, you know, you have the carpenter, you have the electrician, you have your plumber, you, okay, have, your, you, 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 you have these different trades. If you're missing one of them, then the, the house is called, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. you, the house is called. You, you still have to go through the uh, commissioner, through the house of commission to get your permits and everything too. So every piece is, in, is, is vital and important to the house and how much more the most high guys building this and I had did a lesson actually and I mentioned what we're talking about right now you know what I'm saying how we're not all prophets or, or not you know what I'm saying it, it's not one particular thing you're gonna do to get delivered it's a whole function of things that the Lord wants you to do you got to be involved man you got man look let me read it Bob, man, Bob, real quick this is first Corinthians 5 and 8 it says therefore let us keep the feast not with old leaven neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, man. And when you go into that word sincerity, real quick, it says, it says, it says, uh, purity, sincerity. Um, when you go into the, uh, I know I looked it up before. When you go into the, uh, the root word, it's, it says wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? To be fully given, man. Every single aspect of your life has to belong to your house side, man. Right. Everything. You have to represent the Lord, man. You gotta be a sign of your house side. They gotta, they, that's what happened with, with Peter, man. I was gonna say, we are, we are, uh, we are representatives. It says there were what? Ambassadors of your house side? And with that being said, you. held to a certain standard okay you can't do the things that you once did all right when you were in the world uh, you gotta uh, uh, put off that old man and put on the new man okay uh, and then you're gonna have to continue to grow and get better improve evolve for lack of words okay all right you can't be stagnant in this truth 
Cause they, they see, cause a lot of guys, man, they get to a certain level, man, and they're becoming what right now? Stagnant. And the reason why is because they're not what? Studying, putting in work, okay? They're getting bored, so to speak, which I don't understand how someone can get bored in this truth, man. Ooh. Hey, but that, that's a scary thing, because what's happening is the Lord, he's taking that spirit away. That's why in Psalms 51, man, the, the, uh, King David said, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because that can happen to anybody at any point, man. Because remember, he was, put it like this, the reason why he, he, he said that prayer is because he saw what happened to King Saul. Remember, King Saul had the spirit on him at one point. Remember that. And then it was stripped from him, and then a wicked spirit entered into him, man. That's what as the scriptures say, man. So you remember that, because that can happen to anybody, man. All right, that's a scary thing, man. Like, uh, another example is Judas Iscariot, man. Okay, he was um, he was with the Lord until the very end, so to speak. You know, and then Satan hopped on him, man, and he bugged out, and then he did what he did, you know. And then, but, hey, but prophecy had to be, be fulfilled, though. And then in scripture it says. Uh, 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 roughly paraphrase it says that the Lord sent the, uh, the devil to Judas to get yeah. done what he needed yeah. to get done. Oh yeah, you know. Yep. And, man, that's that's like what's going in. That's a scary ass thing to to you know for the so spirit to be taken upon you. Cycle, and you have you close, we, yeah. we're in the spirit right now like we are, and to be have it to be stripped and you're saying I can't get motivated. I can't but find yeah. a, a lesson to do. I can't. I, I'm, I'm scared to. I'm listening to brothers constantly. I'm, I'm frightened. Even that shit could come in my head. Oh, no, I'll take one word and, and start doing a lesson on it because this, the Lord, every word of the scripture says, every word of the Lord is spirit. Every word of the Lord is pure. You can get, you can get, a, you can, you can get a lesson out of one word He says. Hey, but if, if you're not inspired, man, hey, you're screwed. And the, the only person that can inspire you is your Howard Bashi Mountain Shot, man. You know. But um, what is? I forgot who was reading last. Somebody was reading 1 Corinthians because I was following. I was reading it. Yeah, I was reading it. Yeah, I was reading it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you finish it off? No, I didn't. Okay, It says, um. Oh, yeah, I, I did finish it. Yeah, I did finish it. I went into the word sincerity. Yeah. Get back into Sirach The Sirach chapter 35 and verse 4. Thou shalt not appear empty before Yahweh, for all these things are to be done because of the commandment. Yep, keep going. The offering of the righteous maketh the altar fat. Yep, and that's what we're doing right now. We're making the altar fat. Keep going. And the sweet, the sweet savor thereof is before the Most High. Yep. The sacrifice of a just man is acceptable, and the memorial thereof shall never be forgotten. Exactly, and this is not going to be forgotten. What we're doing to this world, this seems like it's you know, uh, you know, you look like a lunatic. All right, you look stupid. You look dumb. All right. You know, hey, you know, whatever they say, you know, about us, all right? Hey, but the Lord, he sees all this, because everything, I mean, look, the Lord, it's all spiritual, man, you know? Everything is spiritual. They, even though, put it like this, we're not physically getting things, so to speak, right now. At some point, the Lord, he's going to uh, allow us to cash in on our investment, man, all right? Because this is all a huge investment, and we're just waiting to cash out, man. And it's coming. But you know what? Even though we're not physically getting things right now, it's because when you're living in this world and you have the mindset of this world, especially before you come into the truth, you holding on to things. You already carrying a bunch of shit. You already got your arms and your hands are full with things. How can you receive anything physical when you're already carrying everything? You got to drop all that shit first, man. That's what we're doing now. We trying to drop all the stuff that we carrying that was with us prior to coming in the truth. And Lord willing, man, we make it to the end. And then when we don't got nothing in our hands, we can get the real gift put in our hands on a physical level. Um, I got to preach up back that up real quick. What y'all wish I said to take my yoke? Yeah. My yoke is light. I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll quote it, you know? Y'all yeah. wish I said to take my yoke, man. My yoke is light, man. That's right. Why? Because the Lord's carrying it with us, man. The Lord ain't gonna let us do this alone, man. There's always a bailout for the men of the Lord through Yahweh and Yahweh That's yep. a fact, man. You know? Well, he said he's not gonna put uh, too much on us, then we can back. Right. That's right. You know? But well, make a way to escape. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, this is Sirach chapter 35, verse 7. Yep. Uh, the sacrifice of a just man is acceptable and the memorial thereof shall never be forgotten. Give the Lord his honor with a good eye. Yeah, with a good eye, okay? 
right. don't be like Kane. That's right. Don't be like Kane, really, really. Bro. Think about what he did. He gave a sacrifice, but it was a wicked one. It was shit. It was a bullshit sacrifice. Yeah. Okay, and the Lord was displeased with that. And then look at Abel. He gave that righteous sacrifice. Okay, he did what he had to do. You know, the Lord was happy with that. And then what did Cain do? You know, because of his covetousness, you know, his anger, he killed uh, uh, Abel, man. And then the scoffers would be like, how you know? How you know that Cain did wrong? It says it, man. The Lord told him, without doing well, well, that shall be accepted. He obviously did not do well. Come on, man. You think Cain and Abel wasn't talking about what they had to do before they was going over there to do it, man? Right. (laughs) Come on, man. You think Cain didn't get told? Oh, well, bro. Right. You know we supposed to do it like this. I don't know if you want to do it your way. That's why that nigga was so mad, man. Yeah. Because Abel was telling his ass, and then I think he fucked up. Abel probably was, bro, I told you what the, you was the, supposed the, to do, bro. The big guy. Anyway. The big guy told you Come so. Come on, man. Hey, shit. Cain, yeah, like, man, we'll, we'll talk about it again in the field later. Hey, come check it out. Come no, check it out. Come check it out with his ass, man. Yeah. Yep. But uh, no, I was going to say, it's like uh, what Esau uh, he's going to do in this time period, man. He's seeing what? The, the, the sacrifices that we're offering, and he knows it's pleasing to the Lord. Because what does it say? The dragon is going to make what? War with the remnant of her seed. Yeah. Because they kept what? The commandments of the Lord. That's yeah. right. He's going to do the, he's going to, but see, he's going to try to do the same thing, you know, as he did as Cain. But see, it's not going to work this time, man. Because the Lord is going to intervene and stop that shit, man. That's right. And say, nope, not today, son. Not today. And he, he, he's going to get fucked up, man. That's right. He's well, going to get fucked up. Well, he tried to uh, uh, stop it then, but what happened? Then uh, 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 Seth came right behind him. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Seth came right behind him. You can't, you, right. you can't, you can't, you can't mess with the most high, man. Right. Right. You can't stop this thing, man. That's right. It's just multiple. Right, right, right. We don't die. We just die. We are ours. <laughs> we'll go ahead. Uh, this is Sirach chapter 35 and verse 8. Give Yahweh his honor with good eye and diminish not the first fruits of thine hands. And all thy gifts show a cheerful countenance and dedicate thy tithes with gladness. Give unto the Most High according to as he has enriched thee and as thou hast gotten, give with a cheerful eye. Yep, keep going. For the Lord recompenseth and will give thee seven times as much. Exactly. So give it your all, man. Everything that you got, man. Because look, the Lord's going to give it to you sevenfold, man. He's going to give it back to you sevenfold. So if you lose hey, your job, your reputation, your house, your kid, woman, your health, etc., right? Whatever it is, the Lord's going to give it back to you sevenfold, man. You know? And that's just the number of completion. Who knows what he's going to do, man? man. Who knows what the Lord is going to do? Hey, it says, I have not seen, ear have not heard, nor has it entered into the mind of, of, of man, all right, what the Lord got stored up, all right, for those who waited patiently, for those who was about uh, uh, his way and his will and his righteousness, all right, and waited, all right? Man, it's going to be beautiful. Man. Because I am. That makes me think of so much wonderful, grand things that my mind could think of. And here it is. I know it's going to be even greater than that. That's right. All right. Because what I'm thinking, please, that I'm like, Lord, like, that's, that's, a, that's all you wanted? <laughs> that's what you thought of? Shit, you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. You was really going to give it all up to you. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I got a quick precept about Bushad. This is uh, Revelation 4 and 3. It says, And he sat, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. I ain't never seen no green rainbow. Man. Hey, the brother uh, <laughs> in Dallas, man, get the brother's name, uh, one of the head brothers down there, uh, the GMS Lions in Rome. Man, he be doing those uplifting videos of, you know, uh, 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 what the scriptures say about the kingdom and, you know, the walls of this and the streets of that and the, you know, just precious stones and, you know, pure gold and, you know, all those things of how our kingdom just gonna be, I mean, amazing. 
man. That's right. And it's like from far distance, it's gonna just have this radiant shine right. that it's gonna be like man. That's right. It's still over there, you know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying? Man, the city is sitting oh, up on a hill. Woo! It's gonna be on, beautiful, man. man. And for us to to uh, uh, to rule that and be a part of the creme de la creme in that, forget about it. Hey, man, being in the same room as your Howard Shine, man. Forget about Think it. Think about that, man. The brother was just going into earlier how everything out here is mixed. Even when they tell you you buying real gold bullion, that's not real gold. <laughs> it, that shit is mixed with something, man. It's fool's gold. Just, hey, that's what I'm saying, the hundred acres is yours. Hey, hey, right. Hey, <laughs> hey, the gold that we gonna have, we it's like a mirror, like hey, okay. right. Come on, man. You know what? Uh, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? What you, say. you can fix yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> you can well, fix that, yourself you up. You can fix yourself up. <laughs> old candy canes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got this. Uh, this is uh, Tobit chapter 13. Um, you got it too. I was thinking of it. I see. Oh, this is uh, Tobit 13. I'll start at um, uh, I started 12. I'll start at 11. This is uh, Tobit 13 and 11. Many nations shall come from far to the name. So I can read that again. Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord Yahweh with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the King of Heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. Cursed are all they which hate thee, mm. and blessed shall all be which love thee forever. Mm. Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, for they shall be gathered together, and shall be, and shall bless the Lord of the just. O oh, blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. And, and I have a footnote there, it says prosperity for peace. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall re rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. Let my soul bless Yahweh the great king, for Jerusalem shall be built up, built up with sapphires, emeralds, and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold, right? Hey, not not hey, as the brothers were talking about. It's not going to be mixed. It's going to be pure gold. That's right. Ooh, that that that, that taha gold. Puro, puro, puro. Yes, sir. Puro. puro. <laughs> hey, uh, Just think about you got sapphires, emeralds, yeah. these precious stones. They're beautiful, man. And they got different colors: green to to, to purple to blue. You know what I'm saying? True, to red. True, true. You Black know what I'm opals. You know, that's Ooh. my favorite one though. Like, but the true one, like the actual, like non-adultery. Right, right. Yeah, no, it's not going to be changed. It's going to be in its purity, man. That's it. You know? Woo! Shit! You can't even you know, get real gold you know, chain right now. You know the movie uh, Hunger Games? Yeah. The the, the, the first part, they they uh when they you know when they get selected, they get on the train, and the people that already had made it through the games and shit. If you make it through the games, you get to be a, a, an elite, basically. You know what I'm saying, okay. right? But you know, as the series goes, it's a twist. But when they get on the train and stuff, and the the, the groomers, I think they were called the groomers or whatever, they were getting the two the, the the two young adults ready. You know what I'm saying to get into the Hunger Games, and they took them into this 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 place, man, this room, and there was so much good food there and all that stuff. And the lady was telling him about all the good stuff that they got. And then uh, on one of the, the parts, she was like, platinum doorknobs, you know? Like, platinum doorknobs, you know? You know what I'm saying? The kingdom is going to be a trillion times better than that, man. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You hey, know? Man, this stuff Shit. that's on other worlds that we don't even know about that's going to be right here brought to a theater near you, man. That's yeah. it. <laughs> it says, uh, and the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with barrel in uh, carbuncle and stones of Ophir. Woo! Not not this BS right here. Right. Concrete. Stones of Ophir, oh, man. This you know what I'm might, saying? This might barely let you see a blue sky around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, right. Think about it, man. You're gonna have uh, your streets paved with you know you know gold, different you know uh, uh, precious stones, and that's good on the on the body, by the way, man. Yeah. Because this this is terrible for your body. That's why you know uh, 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 people around the world, man, they got what lower back pain. Uh, I got my feet are messed up. 
know what I'm saying? I got arthritis. Yeah. Like, and come we, on, man. We, and we'll be one, you know, with the earth. It's like, I got to see that movie Avatar again. Because, yeah. you know, uh, I haven't seen it probably since uh, back when it came out. Oh, word? Yeah, I seen yeah, the trailer yesterday. It's come out with a new one. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, you talking about just, I mean, just like the brother said, man. It, everything is for our good, for our help. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Man, it's going to be beautiful, man. Sir, you, man. You, you, you're not yearning to be in that. Something wrong with you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Being in that league with uh, every, everything yeah. is in league yeah. with you. you yes. Know? yes. The beast of the field, the rocks. Yes. You know, we, the scripture talks about uh, Yahweh Shah had not a home. You know, how did he get along with the elements out there then? How was he protected out there? How did not uh, things bite on him, crawl on him, and he was in league with him, man? Huh? And that's what we're going back. You've seen that Isaiah 11. You know, a child is going to be able to wander out and do whatever. We're not going to worry about our kids. No. None, none of that. We, we, when, your, when your kids leave out right now today, the, you know, back in the day, when I was coming up, my mother said, I'm praying over you right now. We're going, out, going outside and play. Yep. You know, right back then. Ain't I'm talking about 50 ain't years nothing, ago, man. Ain't nothing more How that. much more now? They got a, a, a movie coming out, Lord's War. I want to see this, man. It's <coughs> called, I think it's called The Black Phone, man. And it basically he's got this uh, uh was it Ethan Hawke? He's the uh basically the the uh the, the abductor, you know what I'm saying? The the pedal or whatever the hell mm -hmm. is, right? And he you know this was like uh, oh, it's like basically like in the 70s, and he that. would like just pull up on kids in this you know fucking van and like he'd be like a clown and shit or whatever, and then just abduct them, you know, blow them in and abduct them, man, you know. That, that, that's the shit that was good, you know how you're saying that's a, you know more your time, man. That was happening back then. How much more now, man? Oh, man. No? But uh, I got uh, one more uh, verse, um, Tobit 14 and 18. And all her streets shall say hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be Yahweh, which hath extolled it forever. A kingdom that's going to be forever and ever and ever and ever, ever and ever. Hey, man. Yeah. You go to the hood now, these niggas thinking young dolphin shit, man. <laughs> Thank you for the turkey, young dog. You niggas goofy, man. Yeah. Fuck it. This yeah. yeah. Isaiah 61 and 5 it says, The stranger shall stand in your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dresses. But ye shall be named the priests of Yahweh. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Who? Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourselves. Shall you right. boast yourselves, man. Boy, you talking, boy, only. Pompous on these motherfuckers. Come on, man. Through, all through the spirit and power, y'all, by Shimmy Awashi. Hey, mama. Hey, I'm coming up on one. Hey, niggas got water where y'all came from. You got soap and water around this bitch. Y'all niggas look dusty. I'm gonna bring up another old school. Come on, bro. Hey, and these heat, you think these heat, bro, these. I was at work on Thursday, man. I seen at least 10 or 15 <laughs> Edomites use the bathroom and not wash their fucking hands, man. Oh, you know how dirty these niggas gonna be when they get put back on the bottom, man? <laughs> these the motherfuckers you wanna look up to? Nigga, nigga using the bathroom, don't wash his hands, now you wanna go touch a bitch oh, face dude. and shit? <laughs> Well, when you go into platinum, it'll take you back to the Aztecs. I guarantee you. Come on, man. Like George Foreman. Wicked ass niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> like the brothers bring it out. Papa Gala, you know. But uh, that's a members only sign. Right. Members, members oh, only jacket. We had the members only jacket. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me team my collar with my golden ring. I got a precept on that members only. You know? I tell you. That <laughs> red. Second answer five and twenty-seven. And among all the multitude of the people, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest. Thou gave it law that approved of all. Law that is approved of all. It is the law of life. Yeah. All right? It's the law of life that he's going to put inside of us, man. That's right. And cause us. That's right. All right? To be those immortal rulers on the earth, man. It's going to be beautiful. That's right. And after a while, after the captivity and uh, uh, like the apostle, uh, 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 the apostle Paul always says, putting foots sideways of, of these heathens, all right? Their, their payback, okay? After that, 
and we get rid of the uh, uh, nation of people that's made the wicked, that's Esau, right. Edom, eradicate them. That's right. right. And then these heathen nations get allotted their lands that we allot them. Okay. <laughs> and then after a, a, a while, they're going to see because we got to break them first from their ways. All right. But then after a while, they're going to see like, wow. And that's when that Proverbs 29 and 2 kick in. <laughs> All right, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right. The people that we rule over, they're going to rejoice because they have righteous rulers, man. All right, fair rulers. All right, rulers that's going to lead them into a true lifestyle. All right, all right, and it's going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be beautiful for all, man, because all was made for our sakes. And guess what? We care for our possession, That's right. our inheritance. That's right. Part of our inheritance is the heathen. All right? We like our stuff. Yep. Unlike Esau. And we're going to take care of our stuff. That's right. Make it strong, boy. That's hey. it. <laughs> I got a precept. Any last uh, precepts? Yeah. Wrap it up? Real, one real quick. Um, let me look it up real quick. Man, it's gonna be beautiful, man. That's yeah, I mean, hit the dance then, y'all. Get that dance then for the ass when it's time for that day. That's it. This is, uh, Genesis 25 and 31. It says, And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus, Esau despised his birthright, man. Oh yeah, not, uh, not all through the spirit, man. Y'all just keep it. I already got. Uh, I, Y'all just, hey, y'all. This, this is a lesson in being patient, man. Right. Now, all through the spirit, it was our birthright anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? All through the spirit. But it, the Lord had to had it go down like that, all right? And to give an example of, hey, you can't wait, you can't be patient, all right? You gotta go through first, all right? He said, well, what good does it, this don't gonna do me now? That's right. Yeah. Ah, you gotta be patient, man. It's, it's like that kid that won't course. desert now. And then, all right, well then go ahead. And then they eat the dinner, then everybody eat dinner, then everybody chilling, eating dessert, and they just standing there. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to make it laugh. <laughs> go ahead, brother. <laughs> the word despise <laughs> is uh, um, baza. It says uh, <laughs> to despise, hold in content, disdain, uh, uh, worthless. And he it's, saw it's, it's something being worthless. <laughs> because you can see Esau, he's got to um, see, uh, what is it? He needs like, tangible evidence for him to believe in something. You know, that's right. Uh, that's right. To, to believe in something. All right? You know, he didn't think anything of it. Because, yep. right. you know, that, 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 that blessing wasn't there. Right then and there. Right. It's, yep. like, it's like, fuck you. It says, he know. who makes light of. See, he never was a believer in that blessing. Salaki, he was that's never it. a believer yeah. in it. He, he thinking in his head, I don't believe in that shit. Give right. what I can get right now. Right. And what see, when you impatient, that opens you up to a whole manner of perversions, man. Yep. Because now you ain't just patient because you want to eat right now. You patient because you got a sexual urge. So now, oh, well, there ain't no woman around here, but it's a goat. So fuck it. I'm impatient. I'm going to do whatever. Right. What? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. That's right. That's how they are. That's how they are. That's how they are. I used to always say, uh, these balls, they just a bunch of uh, super extreme. Cats, that's it. Bro. They just can't take it. That's, that's all it, it is, man. That's it, they bugged out. They got demons on them, man. That's, that's it. it. You know. Yep. Any uh, last, last one? That's it. All right. Hey, well, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. All right, Lord will, we'll be back next week. Uh, and uh, soon, you know, I, I can't wait to the famine of the word to where all this shit start to, you know, uh, uh, happen to where we, hey, that door of repentance is shut. All these, it's about to go down, man. All right. All right. But if it be the Lord's will, we out here next week, you know. Uh, so with that, we're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash, Shalom, and Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball!